it can be tough to really relax sometimes with all of the distractions at home. So this Valentine's Day, we are giving you some ideas to go off the beaten path and check out some unique places in town or nearby to reconnect with your sweetheart. And today we are heading down Highway 14 to Mazomany, where Dan Visti says there are some fun day and overnight getaways. Welcome. Thanks for being here. We're going to start with the walking iron bed and breakfast. Yes, yes. What would you like to know? Tell us, what makes that a romantic getaway? Because we're talking only a 30-minute drive from Madison. Right. Well, the, uh, the home dates back to the 1870s, and it's French provincial style. And it was restored by the Friskies a few years ago when they opened it as a bed and breakfast uh, offering. And they now have uh, up to five rooms. They're very nicely appointed, very, very um, elegantly appointed. <laughs> And you can't see, but we're looking at just uh, some exterior shots of it right now. It's beautiful. And we've heard from some of the locals there that they've not been in there yet themselves, but mm -hmm. they really would love a peek because they're only hearing really great things about it. Very cool. Um, Dan, talk about now your restaurant is the yeah. old feed mill. When we asked for a representative to speak from your community, everybody said, it's got to be Dan. <laughs> but you have your own wonderful uh, place to get away. Uh, well, I guess we do. Uh, we decorated every year special for Valentine's Day. It's a very rustic uh, building. It was a flouring mill built in 1857 um, and it was restored but we left all the rusticity in it that we could and on Valentine's Day it's basically can lights off, candlelight and very a lot cool. of natural wood and stone. Darn it's it beautiful. that I have to work at night. That sounds like a great spot. Tell us the difference then, uh, compare for us with the Wall Street Bistro, which is another place for food. Right. Wall Street is a more intimate dining, I, I guess you'd call it. Uh, we might seat 300 people and they might seat 15 to 20. Um, they're open on the primarily weekends. It's a husband and wife owned business and they serve dinner only, but all of the pastas and pizza ingredients are made right there. We're running out of time very quickly. You have a new chocolatier in your area as well. Right. We have a, a new chocolatier. She just joined our Heritage Kitchen, which is a shared use kitchen that people wanting a food business can operate in. So she pays so much an hour and she can then make her chocolates and sell them under a, a state license. Darling Chocolatiers. Darling very Chocolatiers, good. very good. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. Always fun to get some new ideas and just a really quick drive to Mesa. And we'll post Thank some you. links to those businesses on our web channel, NBC15.com, and our news links. Stay with us.